Hello, everyone. I'm Glenn Jones, your event coverage coordinator here at StarCityGames.com, and I'm just going to talk to you a little about the Des Moines Open Series we're hosting this weekend. We're having it at the Des Moines Marriott in downtown at 700 and Grand Avenue. Our standard and legacy opens will each begin at 10 a.m. as usual, and we're firing side events all weekend long. We have a Two at a Giant Modern and Legacy Challenge all on Saturday, while Sunday has another Two at a Giant Challenge sandwiched by two draft opens. If you're watching this on Thursday before noon, then you're in luck. We have free event pickups still available as long as you order now. Our commentators this weekend will be Matthias Hunt and Jacob Van Lunen. They'll be bringing you the broadcast all weekend long on SCG Live. The hashtag for this event is SCGDM, and you can use that to communicate with us and to get all of the information on the event. I myself will be there doing the written coverage, and before I leave, I'm going to talk with Brad Nelson a little bit about the Baltimore Invitational and how you might want to prepare for Des Moines. All right, uh, I'm here with Brad Nelson, who's fresh off a bittersweet ninth place at the Baltimore Invitational, but he did take down a draft open on Sunday. Yeah, I did. So we're going to just talk about what happened at the Invitational and moving on to Des Moines. Uh, what level are you in the Players Club now, right? You earned your three. first points? Yeah, I got my oh. first points, and I'm level three. That means that uh, they get to pay me $25 when I show up. I, I didn't even know it. I just like went home, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I have these points now, and I checked how much they're worth, and I checked the p- point system. I never really looked at it before. I mean, I've been behind the camera doing commentary, sure, but yeah. never looked at the points, and I show up, and I like my perks are like sleeves, a deck box, and $25 uh, redeemable at the, the store, or like at the uh, actual... Which mostly offsets the entry fee or any yeah. cards you had to pick up at the event. Yeah, and so, like, I mean, I just get to go and I get, like, a free sword every time I go up or whatever. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so what made the Invitational different from other tournaments you've played in? Um, well, I mean, it's the only tournament that had a cash prize that I played over 10% of the field. That's the biggest thing. And and I know that's going to change different, but, like, that was actually really cool. Like, I, I know it'll never happen again, but that's, like, an experience that was just awesome playing just everyone you you had to play everyone i, I played seven of the top eight <laughs> like, yeah i know nick spagnolo got second said he'd played like eight of the top nine yeah or something like that in the uh, swiss and he was one of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh but yeah it was it was a great tournament and it and it had a pro tour feel so that was just awesome you know like everyone has this big difference between pro tours and opens because you know the the first place prize is just a, di- a different prize but like it felt like a pro tour, which was awesome. Like, I, you know, I played almost a dozen pro tours now, so, like, I have a good feel what they're like, and everyone was just happy, and they're just enjoying their time, and just, it, they were just, everyone was excited to be there, even the pros. They were just happy to be at the Invitational. It was just, Excellent. it was a really fun tournament. Uh, so you mentioned that you've been commentating on the Open Series, even yep. though you got your first points. What was the difference you felt being a player versus being a commentator this weekend? Well, I actually got to shuffle cards. <laughs> and that I got to play my draft open. <laughs> Every time I every time I do commentary, I'm like, man, I want to play these draft opens. They look fun, and so I finally got to play draft open, which was great. Like, obviously, would have rather been in the top eight, but sure. uh, I mean, it was just interesting. Like, I got I got to compete in these events that I did commentary, and I knew everyone that worked on the commentating side so well that I would stop by and say hi. You know, there's Jeremy yeah. and the people that I've I've worked with, and it was just it was it was great. Like. The Invitational is actually one of my favorite tournaments in a long time, just because I i mean, I obviously know all you guys and I've worked yeah. with you before and I got to play in the tournament and I did well and I had a couple screw-ups because I didn't know how the how the structure was going to be and how much cobble was going to be in the room so I ended up taking three <laughs> losses, which kind of sucked but, I mean, yeah, it was it was, it was was an awesome event. Cool. Uh, so you were on the other side of the camera in Baltimore. Do you have any tips for people who are getting their camera matches in Des Moines? Uh, yeah, they're... Um, you know, when when you get your first camera experience, it's it's kind of crazy. And and I have I have a funny story about. Okay, uh, yeah, let's hear. It. In, in 2007, it was first nationals. They they didn't have camera magic then, but we had feature matches, and they're still sure. scary. Like the problem with the feature match is people are watching you. <laughs> like, <laughs> and and if it's your first feature match, it's the first time anyone's actually watched you play magic. Yeah. And even it's scarier than what happened in 2007 because there's like 2,000 people, 3,000 people watching you on on camera. So it's kind of crazy, but. It's going into round 16. It's my winning in. First Nationals. I already had some press because I 7 would Limited. Sure. And, and BDM kind of got excited about that. And I'm going to have to play for, for it. And there's only two matches that are playing winning ins right now. So I know I'm going to be featured. So I go up to the booth. And I'm like, can I please not be featured? <laughs> like, I don't want to be featured. And they just laughed at me. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I sit down and I'm sweating and i'm nervous and i'm playing against a known player because that's what's going to happen to a lot of people that go under the camera they're playing a known player and it was just a horrifying experience and the things that i learned learned from that is like you have to breathe you just have to keep breathing 
and, and I know that sounds stupid. It's like people are like, you're just playing magic. Like, mm-hmm. why would why would that be a concern? But it is like so many things are going on in your mind that don't normally go on when you're under the pressure of yeah. be, being under the spotlight that different things like your heart rate and your and, and your breathing change. And so, like, you just have to keep calm, breathe and take an extra second to make your decisions. Just don't play play a faster pace, which some people tend to do. That when you're nervous, you want to play faster. You want to get it done with. That's just like a subconscious reaction to yourself. Like you just want to finish and be done with it. Since you're under pressure and your body doesn't want to be under pressure, so just like slow down your game, breathe, and concentrate as best you can, and just understand that you're playing magic. I've been on the camera so many times. I've made so many mistakes under the gun. <laughs> like don't worry about that. <laughs> but We're all yeah, gonna make mistakes. Yeah. yeah, we all make mistakes. So like just. Play magic, enjoy it, and know that when you get home, you can actually go and see yourself on a camera. Which is sweet. I, I go back and watch a lot of my videos. I mean, I, I like myself a lot, so. Now, do you find them educational to watch also? Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. Some, sometimes I watch them, you know, because you beat someone good, like when I beat Kai, and sometimes you watch them, like the match I played against Jerry in uh, Pittsburgh at a GP. I watched that three times for mistakes. Because it's like this insane cobblade mirror mm-hmm. that was just perfect to have under the camera. And there was like technical things that both of us did wrong. And there's also like different lines we could have taken. So it's just fun to recreate those games. And then there's times I just watch them because they're hilarious, you know, like yeah. just strange things happen. So, I mean, being under the gun is like something that I really, really like. And, and for the people that do feel pressure from it, because I've talked to a lot of people that have, just relax, enjoy it and know that you're playing magic. All just right. play as good as you can. Well, there you go. Uh, if you're in Des Moines this weekend for the Open Series, I'll see you there. And I'm going to say, because that's a Midwest and I just moved down to the East Coast, <laughs> many of my friends are going to be there. I miss you. I love you all, and I hope you all do well. All right, excellent. <laughs>